We are marking today 110 years of establishing the Bank Leomi in February 1902 in London. The first branches of Bank Leomi in Eretz Israel were in Jerusalem and Jaffa in 1903. Since then, we are uh, establishing our base here in, in Israel before the establishing of the State of Israel. And of course, since 1948, Bank Lumi was the central bank of the country, of the new country, a new state. In the beginning, what was its goal? What was it defined as the Jewish bank, or what was it? It was a Zionist bank. This was the financial, financial arms of the Zionist movement that was established by Theodor Herzl. In, actually, he declared of his willing to establish financial arms for the national Zionist movement in the Second Congress of, in, 19, in 1888. It took him about four years to mobilize the money from Jewish households all over the Europe. And in 1902, he was ready enough to establish the bank in London in 27 February 1902. And since then, we are uh, starting with the, what is, the first name was the Anglo-Palestine Bank. But when it was in 1948, the establishing of the bank was changed the name to Bank Lumi Israel, Bank Lumi Israel. And I mentioned before that in the years 1948 till 1954, in the, six, the first six years of the new state, we were the central bank of Israel, namely that we issued the currency of the Israeli lira at the time. And in 1954, after the establishing of the Central Bank of Israel, Bank of Israel, they took this job from us. So if back then, in the beginning, there was a big Zionist dream and ideals, what is the goal today? Today we have, of course, we are a commercial bank, that we are doing all, most of our business in Israel, but we also serve the Jewry all over the world. We have branches in some central places in, in the world, New York, California, London, Luxembourg, Switzerland. And we are serving the Israeli economy and we are part of the Israeli economy and you can't uh, see the Israeli economy without the role of Bank Lomi. And I understand that you had uh, interesting uh, branches not only in Israel. Well, at that time it was not clear what is Israel and not Israel. But uh, in the beginning of the bank, beside, of course, uh, our first branches were in Jerusalem and Jaffa, Sfat and Tiberias, but also in Gaza and Beirut. So how do you see the Israeli economy in the, uh, what's happening in the world? Of course, we are part of the globalization and we are part of the world. And we are affected by what's happening in Europe or the States or other places in the world. And um, due to the fact that the Israeli economy is very involved in the international business and we are export-oriented economy, so of course any kind of development in Europe, because Europe is the main market of the Israeli economy, is affecting the Israeli economy. And due to that, also Bank Lumi, our activity, because we are about 30% of, of the economy in the financial market. So what kind of days are we looking forward to now? Is things are getting better or worse? Very challenging, <laughs> first of all. Uh, well, it's, uh, it's m maybe for, for the short term some we are facing some problems due to the development in Europe, but I'm, I'm optimistic about the, the long term.